Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of x. And now make sure to stay until the end of your video where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one and which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides. So now I have ln x squared is equal to ln 3 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this b to the front, so this would equal b times ln a. So now I can move this exponent to the front, so now I have 2 times ln x is equal to x times ln 3. Now I can divide both sides by 2x. So then these two will cancel out on this side and the x's will cancel out on this side. So now I have ln x over x is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now if I have something in the form e to the power, power of ln x, this is the same thing as x. So x here I can replace with e to the power of ln x, which is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now ln x over e to the power of ln x is the same thing as ln x times e to the power of negative ln x, which is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now if I take the w Lambert function of something in the form a times e to the power of a, this is simply equal to a. So now before doing that, I'm first going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So now I have negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x is equal to negative ln 3 over 2. Now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, remember a times e to the power of a is equal to a, so in this case a is simply equal to negative ln x, so now I have negative ln x is equal to w Lambert function of negative ln 3 over 2. Now I can move this back to the front, so now I have ln x to the power of negative 1 is equal to w Lambert function of negative ln 3 over 2. Now I'm going to take e to the power of both of these. So then e and ln, these two will cancel out, and x to the power of negative 1 is all that remains, which is the same thing as 1 over x. So I have 1 over x is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 3 over 2. Now if I switch the places of these two, I get x is equal to 1 over e to the power of w of negative ln 3 over 2. So I have x squared is equal to x minus 3 squared. Now make sure to stay until the end of the video where I have a bonus problem for you guys that is similar to this one which you guys can try and solve. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides. So then these two will cancel out and I will be left with 0 is equal to x minus 3 squared minus x squared. Now I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 3 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. So now the 0 is on the right hand side. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared is equal to, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a would equal x minus 3 and b is equal to x. So x minus 3 squared minus x squared, this would equal a plus b, so x minus 3 plus x times a minus b, so x minus 3 minus x. This is equal to 0. Now x plus x is 2x, so now I have 2x minus 3 times These two will cancel out, so simply just negative 3 is equal to 0.
Now, if I divide both sides by negative 3, these two cancel out, and I have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 over negative 3. Now, 0 divided by any number is 0, so I simply am left with 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, if I add 3 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 3. Now I can divide by 2 on both sides, so then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 3 over 2. Now to check, my original equation was x squared is equal to x minus 3 squared. Now x is equal to 3 over 2. So now I have 3 over 2 squared is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3 squared. Now, 3 over 2 minus 3, that's the same thing as 3 over 2 minus 3 over 1 squared. Now I have 3 over 2 squared is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3 over 1, which is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 3 minus 6, which is equal to negative 3. So now I have 3 over 2 squared, which is equal to negative 3 over 2 squared. And 3 over 2 squared, this is going to be 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, which is equal to 9 over 4. So I have 9 over 4 is equal to negative 3 over 2 squared. It's equal to negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 over 2, which is equal to negative times a negative is a positive, so 9 over 4. So I have 9 over 4 is equal to 9 over 4, and this is right. So our solution is right. All right, so now we have x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. Now we want to find the value of x. So first off, from x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. If I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a would equal 5, m would equal x, and n would equal 25, because we have 5 to the power of x plus 25, which is the same as a to the power of n plus n. So now I can rewrite 5 to the power of x plus 25 as 5 to the power of x, a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, which is 5 to the power of 25. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 25. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by five to the power of x. So now by doing that, these two will simply cancel out. So for my left-hand side, I will have x to the power of x over five to the power of x. And on my right-hand side, all I have left is five to the power of 25. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, I can rewrite this as a over b to the power of m. So in this case, a would equal x, b would equal 5, and m would also equal x. So from x to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 25. And we write this as x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 25. Now, if I take the power of 1 over 5 on both sides, I get x over 5 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. 
Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, x over 5 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 5, I can write this as x over 5 to the power of x times 1 over 5. This is still equal to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. Now x times 1 over 5, that's the same thing as x over 5. So now I have x over 5 to the power of x over 5. Now I'm going to do the same thing to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. So now I have x over 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 times 1 over 5. Now I have x over 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 over 5. This would be x over 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 over 5 is 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, and b is greater than or equal to 1, then this means that a is equal to b. And in this case, b is equal to 5, which is greater than or equal to 1, meaning x over 5 is equal to 5. Now, if I multiply both sides by 5, I get these two cancel out. x is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25. Now, to check, our original equation was x to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x plus 25. x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. Now x is equal to 25, so now I have 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 plus 25. Now I have 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 plus 25 is 50. Now to simplify this, 25, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So now I have 5 squared to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 25, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 2 times 25. So equal to 5 to the power of 50. 2 times 25 is 50, so I have 5 to the power of 50 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. And because this is right, we know our solution is right as well. So